Hey, how you doing? I'm gonna start. I'm just gonna play a little bit of Super Smash Flash while I talk a little bit. Um, Friday, payday, awesome. So that's why I'm also relaxing a little bit. Oh wait, I don't think I adjusted the difficulty. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get wrecked. Let me just put hard since um, I'm talking. So, payday today. As you guys know, I had to I had to get, you know, a, a friend of mine lent some money. Two friends, actually, lent money. Lent me money, about 500 and 400 But I did pay them a little bit more, so I paid them 500 and 550 And with my current paycheck and how much I'm earning at the moment, I am basically at almost zero. I have enough for food, but I'm basically in the same situation that I have, that I was two weeks ago, just that all my debts are paid out. So that's good. By the end of this month, I should be um, positive, net positive, with paying rent and and for food and you know paying out all all my other debts. I should be here. I am Captain Falcon, by the way, because I love Falcon. Pretty corny. It's pretty cool. Pretty sick. So yeah, um, should be all right. Should should be okay. Relatively okay. Oh shit! It's me against these two guys. All right, come on, come on. Oh wait, wait, wait! No, 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 no. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at this! You can't beat me! You can't beat me, son! Oh no! 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 Two v one! No! Damn! 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 damn. All right. How am I gonna beat him? First, you gotta get this tomato. I can't get this tomato. Yeah. It made me pretty good. All right, have to. Me. Bam. Got to separate them. Separate. Divide and conquer. Remember this. Damn. Damn. No. Can't let them get that. Can't let them get that. I can't let them get it. Can't let them get it. No. 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 Me. No. All right. They messed up. They messed up. They messed up. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's go. Yo, let's go. All right. What was I going to say? Yes, I'm basically at zero, but... Hey, another day, another dollar. If we survive this month, we are golden. Next month will be a breeze. That's basically... All right, giant link. I think I'm going to finish this video when I beat Master Hand, if I'm able to beat him. But I will, yes. You have to be positive. You have to remain positive. That's another thing. Remain positive. Today, I was also listening to more videos on the Dry Wrangler School, or Dwayne. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. He also talked about uh, Jordan Peterson, which is a surprise. Which is, isn't a surprise, but um, two, uh, two great minds, or two interesting minds, um, talking and, you know, how they relate to each other. How, how to, how two people <laughs> that I thought had, I mean, they have, they share like similar ideals. Oh my God, this guy is killing it. This guy is really good. This uh, bot is pretty good. I just got to knee him once. How two people that I didn't correlate, you know, how two people that have similar mindsets, yet different personalities correlate to each other and and intertwine is very interesting. I didn't I didn't see it at first how both of them have similar points of view, but now seeing more of Dwayne talking and seeing more of Jordan Peterson talking, I do notice that there are differences but there are also similarities the more you get to know them the more similarities and differences you can see very interesting perspectives because one of them went through you know the institution went through the hierarchies the university study professor went through you know the books the other one Dwayne, basically went through life <laughs> different jobs um different situations that made him learn a lot of a lot of uh, very interesting stories the main thing i like about him when he talks is about the stories he 
he throws in there and how they relate to to what he's talking about. And it always loops back, so I really enjoy him when he starts talking about those stories. The videos are aren't um aren't that long, but they're like twenty minutes long. And I'm very interested in in probably doing videos like that. Maybe give her a better, wider perspective. Maybe that'll help me help uh, help me talk better and really really you know formulate my words possibly you can get a better understanding of how i feel and and how i'm thinking at the at the time so yeah that that'll, that'll, i'll probably do that i just don't want to bore you guys and by you guys i mean myself watching and my kids and whoever has the courage to click on this video and listen to some random guy rant with shitty mic quality and, sh and shitty no editing. So, yeah. It is what it is. All right. Come on. I turn this into a gameplay. Let's go. Oh, I just got to beat these two guys. Oh, it's oh, it's Pac-Man. Do you guys like Pac-Man? Do I... Does, does anybody know in the future if Pac-Man still is a thing? I know, I know Mega Man. Mega Man is pretty cool. But uh, I know Pac-Man's a little more oddly um, relative. Because, you know, a lot of movies, a lot of... Um, yeah, a lot of, like, modern stuff, modern references. Even though I, know, I think Pac-Man is older, pretty much, yeah. <sighs> Cloak and kick. Forward smash. Come on. Get it. Why are you walking? It's just disrespectful. That is disrespectful. What? Yo, yo, yo. Get out of here. Nice. Um, yeah. That's about it. I, I maybe do want to do long form content. Maybe also gameplay would be nice, but, but I mostly want to talk about how I am doing. So what, oh yeah, what, what Dwayne was really talking about is, this is a free for all match. I don't really pay attention. We're talking about about how to do things right and respect. It's a very interesting concept because I think I suffer from that from from wanting respect, not not um, showing a demeanor that. Because you can't, you can't really like demand respect out of someone. If someone doesn't respect you, doesn't respect you. There's nothing you can do. Obviously, I deserve respect, but it's true that you should treat yourself in a manner that that encourages respect. Because I'm a very laid back kind of person. I'm not very, uh, not a very uh, imposing character. If you want to talk, if you want to say it that way, I don't want people to feel I'm uncomfortable around me, but I do, I do want to be myself. I am myself most of the time. Yeah, this is most of the time. Should be all the time, right? <laughs> but yeah, there's social things, and so at work today, a colleague of mine, I was just joking around, and then uh, they took the joke a little serious. And then they started, um, it was basically, um, one of my coworkers calls me by, uh, so my name is Brett, but they call me Brittany, which is like, what? <laughs> or Brettley, some, t one of them calls me Brettley, so they're like, eh. I mean, I don't really care that much. <laughs> I was like, I don't really care that much. But the thing is, so <laughs> when, when they need work for me, they call me Brett. So I joked around like, oh no, I'm Brettley. I'm Brettley. Brett? Who's Brett? Uh, all, oh shit. All I know is that if you're going to give Brett work, I'm Brettley then. Fuck that. <laughs> Just like all sarcastically, but they like the joke. But then I think my coworker really thought that, you know, I was having some identity crisis or whatever. They're like, oh, so who do you define yourself as? I mean, me just continue double doubling down on my joke. It's like, um, oh, I identify as the gender or whatever. I didn't say gender. I said like, or what? I identify as whatever gives me less work. He said, oh, you better pick and choose because 
because um, you know, that's going to, you know, mess you up in the long run. But you better rip out that bandage off and choose already. And me continuing the joke, I'm like, I prefer to be ignorantly blessed forever. Or for as long as I can. <laughs> and then she said, oh, if I were your mother, I would slap you. I would, like, smack you across the face if you said that. And then, but, you know, it's like the tone. Or maybe I did not take the tone well, you know, thinking back on it. But... But we're really, um, we're really, you know, uh, kind of gave me that perspective of the tone is, you know, how colleagues around you kind of reacted to that. They're like, oh, shouldn't say that. Or like, you know, like, um, one of my coworkers nearby that, like, oh, snap. You know what I mean? So it wasn't anything hurtful, but how they reacted, they kind of made it that way. So probably, so maybe she didn't, um, didn't want to come up, come across that, but but basically the coworkers, my coworkers, kind of like made it made it more than it really was, you know what I mean. In any case, I did feel like in some way I got disrespected, so I didn't say anything because what am I going to say? She, like she she's an elderly woman, not elderly, but she, but yeah, she deserves my respect. I'm not going to not going to you know talk back. What am I do? Smack talker? Like, I could, but I won't. And the thing is, I'm very, like, I stubble, I, I stubble a lot. I stubble over my words when I try to filter things out. But if I don't filter, if I try to, you know, really be mean or really say things from the heart, when I'm, especially, you know, when you have emotions, it's way easier that way. Um, yeah, I, I won't stubble. I, I am, I'm a very different person depending on the topic that we're talking about. Depending on you know the importance, the importance of it, the gravity of it, I'm very, I'm very different on a lot of circumstances. I'm very different. I do. I don't know if that's that's. I don't want to say it's lack of personality, but I think my personality is very complex. I'm not bipolar. That's what, that's for sure. I stick to my guns. Stick to what I say, and I stick to what I want to. But yeah, I felt disrespected. But then listening more to to Dwayne's video, I understood that that maybe I should have I should have had a a demeanor that invited more respect, and I shouldn't, you know, I shouldn't have made that joke or possibly. Possibly just stop caring, you know? Because the first thing you need to do is have self-respect. So self-respect is very important. And how you earn self-respect is saying what you said you would. So I said I was going to pass this. I passed. I said I was going to make a video every day, and I'm making a video every day. That also gives me respect. I said I was going to read every day, and I am reading every day. I said I was going to study every other day at least, and I am studying every other day at least. I said I was going to go to go to Colombia. I did it. I said I was going to drive, uh, you know, get my driver's license. I did it. But there's certain times I do feel you know, disrespected. And I'm not, I'm not as self, my image isn't as fucked as it was before, where every little thing just, it doesn't mean like it breaks me, but it triggers me. And I'm not that way anymore. And by I, mean, I was never a, really a bad case. It's just that it wasn't a, it's to my liking, you know, the amount of reaction that I that I displayed when I got disrespected sometimes. And the thing is, when you try to have or act accordingly to to morality and to doing what's right, even having the emotions of lashing out feels wrong. But the, the motion of disrespecting also feels wrong. So that's, that's in tone with the forgiveness thing. Now, it's very, very complicated forgiveness thing. I know Dwayne's perspective and Jordan Peterson's perspective is very different. Dwayne's perspective is you shouldn't uh, be obligated to forgive unless that person, you know, asks for forgiveness sincerely. Until then, you shouldn't feel like you have to forgive and you should just you should just 
try to remove that person from your life or negative emotions from 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 you from that just be neutral but but yeah you shouldn't be obligated to forgive them so so if you have negative emotions here and there of, of that person that shouldn't be shouldn't be you know shouldn't feel morally obligated to let that go but uh yeah obviously the bible's perspective is a little different although he does get that from the bible but i do feel like um peter uh jordan peterson's perspective is more more a little more complicated than that but i i i would like to say i agree with Dwayne's. i do agree with Dwayne's. um Dwayne's kind of like way of getting around that and how to accept forgiveness and how to display and when to and all that i hate mega man yeah yeah so basically the moral of the story you have to love yourself first respect yourself more and the more you respect yourself the less you will respect or care about what others think of you i like that and a second thing i know it's going to be a long video but i want to get this out of the way too I was also listening to some Jordan Peterson podcast with George, um, the guy from that was with Logan Paul. He's a pretty cool dude. Um, he does talk a lot about God, which isn't a bad thing. Um, but yeah, basically, their perspective. But when they were talking about, we're talking about Cain and Abel, Cain, Abel how it's very interesting so you gotta sacrifice things you always have to sacrifice thing to do to do something right but you can't half you can't half ass it when you sacrifice something you have to give completely you have to give the best sacrifice that you can give the best sacrifice that you can give and be conscious of it shouldn't you know like he was talking about how cain sh like shorted his sacrifice you know doing like a shorter hedge you know what i mean having a hedge against his sacrifices it was like yeah holy shit yeah think about it you're doing a deal with god but you're not giving the best doing a deal with what you consider the best what you consider that will give you what you desire and what you need and you're not giving the best of what it requires you from it's like wow well you're not gonna get anywhere and in truth, he didn't get anywhere. He did not get anywhere. And that's why he grew jealous and he killed Abe. Because his sacrifices weren't met. Because he had shitty sacrifices. Like, that's a horrible thing to come to realization. You have shitty sacrifices, so you're going to get shitty results. And that's the thing with entrepreneurs, with everything. You, some, Most of them give shitty sacrifices. Shitty input work. Shitty this, shitty that. I, I will admit, I'll give, I give shitty sacrifices most of the time. But I'm going to keep on trying. I'm going to keep on improving my sacrifices, my way of giving until it's somewhat, somewhat um, decent. <laughs> That's basically it. And also, very important, very, very important note is that even if you do what's right, you won't get your way. That's just life. Sometimes you won't get your way. Sometimes, you know, good people die early. The good people don't have it that way, and that's just basically it. Don't 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 grow resentment towards it. Don't grow resentment. You should do what's right always. Number one, do what's right because your conscience demands it of you. And if you don't have a conscience, well, you're fucked up. And when you do have a conscience, every little thing you did in the past will go and come and and mess you up. And that is what hell is. And this is just how I think. Hell is having the conscience. Hell is having a conscience. And knowing that you messed up. And for years. And on a higher degree. Than what you should have messed up from. Some things are, are alright I guess. But some things are like way out of line. Like holy crap. What was going on? Like. And that's the thing. Having a conscience is, is hell, but it also is heaven. Because if you, you, then you actually know that you're doing what's right. And when you're doing what's right, knowingly, consciously, that's incredible. It's, it's something amazing. 
And that's the thing. And he also talked about, you know, the spectrum, how there's doing good and there's doing nothing. So, so Cain was, 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 wasn't doing bad by all means, but he wasn't doing good. You know, like he gave his sacrifice, but it wasn't bad. Like bad is like giving no sacrifices, taking things from others or type shit. Well, I don't really read that, that read that much, but basically it's just, if you're doing nothing, if you're doing nothing, like you, you don't do drugs, you don't do this, you don't do that, you don't do other things, you're pretty stable. That doesn't make you a good person. That makes you normal. That's how normal is. Like, no this, no that, no vices. Good relationship. This and that. Well, you know, average relationship. This and that. That's all right. That's normal. Doing good is something proactive. So good is proactive. Having a normal relationship is all right. Having a proactive relationship where you proactively want to improve it, proactively want to improve your community, what it, what you do, you proactively go out and help people. That's, that is good. That is good. Doing what minimum requires you to do isn't going to give you, you know, if, if it's for God, isn't going to give you what whatever you ask of him or, or fruit of your loins. It is going to make sure your life isn't as messed up as as it would if you if you did all those bad things but it's not going to necessarily give you the keys to to you know to to heaven so yeah be proactively good be proactively good do what's right be proactive about it and don't whine don't whine of whatever whatever universe deals you even if you did proactively good most of the time most of the time when you do good life is gonna kind of kick you back and gonna test you and that's how it is life will test you. when you try to do good that's when that's when it's so easy to be bad when you try to do good that's why that's when being bad is so easy and so beneficial because they're testing you they're really testing you. Do good. Do good. Always. Without seeking benefit. Give. Sacrifice. Sacrifice with love. Give your best sacrifice. Your best efforts. Put your heart into stuff. Do what is required of you with love. And don't complain about the result. Don't. Don't have the victim mentality. Because that won't get you anywhere. And I had that that victim mentality. Of, I, I'm doing what I'm supposed to. What, and I'm, you know, giving my best efforts. Why am I not receiving the fruits? I believe I had faith I would. But I'm not receiving it. And you know what happened? Because I had that mentality. Because I still somewhat do. I'm not receiving that. I'm not receiving. I'm not truly letting go. And letting things take care of himself. Not truly having faith in the process. Because if you pull your heart into it. And things are not going your way. And you start having that victim mentality. Why me? Why are bad people having, having you know, success but not me? Why, why is it that these people who honestly don't deserve it. Or are not putting as much effort into things. Are winning but not me. Another video that I made. I'm like, why are these people that like, they're dumb. They're really not like in my mind. That's what I was saying. But you know, I, I disagree now. But yeah, why why aren't they? Why do they have success but I don't? Why me? You know what I mean? Sometimes you are doing what's right. You are doing what's right, and you definitely deserve. You definitely deserve all. You know whatever you're asking for. If you do what's right and you do it wholeheartedly, and you always do what's right, or you try. Sometimes you definitely deserve it, but you won't get it until until it's time. And sometimes, you know, you wish that time is now. Sometimes you're not going to get that time now. That's that's just how it is. Don't be a victim about it. Don't complain, because if you complain, now definitely you're not going to get it now. <laughs> if you complain, now, now for sure you're not going to get it. So, 
just stop complaining or don't complain. That's it. That's all I have to say. Do you want me to do you want to see me beat Master Han again? Think I can do it? Think I can pull it off? Two characters. Come on. Come on. Yeah, this isn't for the algorithm. And th that's another thing. Like, do things with your heart. That's what Dwayne was saying. That makes sense. That makes total sense. Total sense. Like, I don't want to. I know I can do cool thumbnails and edits. And I think, like, most people say this is low effort or whatever. And I don't really care. I don't really do this to, to get views. Although, you know, my sometimes, you know, things get screwed into why. Things, things mess up in your, in your head, right? That's the why you're doing certain things. I exercise because I lost someone important to me. And, you know, I want to tribute life. But sometimes you forget. Sometimes you're just, oh, damn, I look really good in the mirror. And then you want to keep going then. Sometimes you forget why the hell you're, you're in that place to begin with. So it is complicated. Sometimes you got to remind yourself, hey, you're not doing this because you like views or whatever. Doing this 